This is the Nova C40, a 1080p smart TV projector with Android TV that also comes with this 90 degree gimbal stand. This comes in at around £300 retail price but make sure to check the links in the description to find the latest pricing because they do run promotions, offers and discounts from time to time. Now before we go into detail about the design and key specs, let's take a look at what comes in the box. So you have yourself the power plug, HDMI cable, user manual and the remote control that does have dedicated YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video and Disney Plus buttons so you can be sure that this has all of your favourite apps to watch your content. And this is the projector itself. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the design. Okay, so I'm just going to bring up the key specs on the sidebar, as you can see here. It has this dual color design, so you have gray and black. The majority of this is plastic, so it's not as metallic or aluminum as you would expect. But nonetheless, it's a very nice design. It comes pre-attached with this 90 degree angled gimbal stand here. Not only is it 90 degrees that you can swivel this, but this can go around 360 degrees, so you can make sure you can project this at the exact angle that you need to. You have yourself the lamp at the front just there, and you have yourself the power button, single power button, just there at the top in the middle. Along the back, you have yourself a USB port, HDMI port, AV, headphone jack, and the infrared receiver for the remote control, and the power plug port there. Now this isn't made to be ceiling mounted, so you don't have the quarter 20 inch threads or any screw holes along the bottom of the projector. So just bear that in mind if that's something you want to do. You will need to find a position on a tabletop or a desktop to have this front facing when you do want to start watching your content. So overall this is a very nice, clean and easy to use design. Let's go ahead and set this up, run through the settings and see how this performs in both daylight and at night time in dark rooms. Okay, so everything is set up. And I've got this projected onto my 100 inch ALR screen. It is very fast autofocus and auto keystone. Now I have a lot of daylight coming into this room as you can see. And I wouldn't really recommend this being used in a well lit room like this because you can see in some of the black areas it's going to be very washed out and it's not going to be great to enjoy your content especially when you are watching movies with some dark scenes. So I always recommend to always use these types of projectors in a dark room to give you the best possible experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off all of the sources of light in this room and just make it dark and then just go through the settings and then we'll showcase the video and audio demos. And I'm gonna play back some HDR content because this is HDR10 and HLG packed with features. So let's get into it. Okay, and there you go. You can see how much clearer and how sharp this is with the 600 ANSI lumens. Now. I just want to talk about the fan noise. This is absolutely silent because I do get this question quite often. I can't really hear any of the fan noise even though I'm sitting right next to it. So that is going to be a non-issue for anyone that has any concerns around fan noise interfering with content playback. So you can see there on Android TV, I've got Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video and Disney Plus added there. One thing I did notice, even though there is a Disney Plus button on the remote control, the Disney Plus app was not pre-installed, so I had to download it via the Google Play Store, and then I've added it to my favorites shortcut just there. So let's go in and take a look at some of the settings. On the remote control, if you press the projection button, this takes you to the source where you can switch between Android TV and any of the sources on the back of the projector. But let's go ahead and look at the settings from here. You can go into projection settings, and from here, you've got the projection mode. You can zoom in and out, which is a feature that I really like. So if you have a set location and distance for your projector, but your screen size doesn't match how far it's actually projecting it, then you can actually change the size of the screen by making adjustments here. You have yourself the focus settings. You've got autofocus and power on with autofocus set to on, but you can also turn that off if you prefer. Likewise, same thing with the keystone settings here. You can do corner correction yourself manually and then you can reset the keystone. So there's not a large amount of projection settings directly from this menu, but we will take a look at some of the other Android TV settings menu as well. Under other settings, you've got the power on mode, turn ketones on or off, screen saver, language and factory reset. Now if we head back to Android TV and let's dive into the settings here. From here you can go into apps and look at some of the app settings. You've got device preferences where most likely you would make some adjustments if you ever needed to. You've got display and sound. So if we just dump into here, you can actually change the screen resolution. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and changed the display mode to 4K at 30 Hertz. Now you can also leave it on the default, which was 1080p at 50 Hertz. 
but it's up to you whichever matches the type of content that you'd like to watch then you have all of the options available listed here now this is 1080p native but it does absolutely support 4k content so that's something to be aware of if you do go ahead and auto switch this to the best resolution then this will change the display mode automatically to match whatever you're watching and then you have a whole bunch of other settings that you expect from Android TV, including Chromecast that's built in. So you can actually do screen sharing from your Android phone very easily. This also has Google Voice Assistant on the remote control, so you can give it commands to open apps, for example, and plenty of other things that you can do directly from the Android TV preferences menu. So having said that, let's go ahead and take a look at some sample videos and see how this performs. So we'll load up a HDR video here with a lot of vibrant colors coming through. And hopefully you can see in the video that I'm just shooting from my phone, how clear and how sharp this image is because this is playing back in 4K and I'm just impressed with the high quality sharpness and the image quality, especially in a darkened room. This is amazing. Now you can see I fit the projection to 100 inches edge to edge on my screen. You can go larger than this, but of course the larger you go, the more of the image will be stretched and more likely to distort some of the sharpness and the quality of the visuals. But nonetheless, this does perform very, very well. Now I've got the volume all the way down at the moment. So I'm gonna put the volume up so we can hear how the audio quality is. Then I'll showcase another video that has a lot of dialogue to make it easier for you to have a judgment of how great this also sounds in addition to how great this also looks. cinema. It's where the most advanced cinematic technology you've ever experienced begins. This is Dolby Atmos. The number of speakers around you no longer matters because this is the world's first object-based cinematic audio. With powerful moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with 10 point accuracy. Whether the soundscape sits the mood of the scene. Or captures the full extent. Of nature's fury. If you know exactly what you want to be, you need to spend as much time with people that are actually that already. You cannot lack a fear of failure, or a fear of comparison, or a fear of judgment stop you from doing what's going to make you great. You cannot succeed without this risk of failure. You cannot have a voice without the risk of criticism. And you cannot love without the risk of loss. You must go out and you must take these risks. So there you have it. For me personally, the audio is great. It's very loud, it's very punchy. And the visuals you can see are absolutely stunning. And to be honest, for 300 pounds, this is an absolute bargain. And if they even have discounts and offers running from time to time, you can probably get this even cheaper than that. So I highly recommend to take a look at the link in the description and make sure you check out the full list of key specifications of what this can do and all of its capabilities because this projector is actually great value for money. Of course, as always, if there's any other questions you want to know about the Nova C40, then make sure to drop them down below. Make sure to subscribe and like and I will catch you all in the next one. Take care.